Howdy crew. Hope all's well. Gonna debut another new one for you today. Or actually an old one, depending on how you look at it. It's the WPL. I think this was the C64. I don't remember. Anyways, I've had this for years and years, just sitting on the shelf. And I built it. It sucked, so I never drove it much. I did all the metal upgrades. I mean, all of them. Every last metal upgrade available. And it sucked because the tires were so hard it had no grip. So I just put some Enjora Swamp Claws Super Sticky on there. I mean, Super Stickies. These are 70 millimeter 1.3 beadlock aluminum tires. Beadlocks suck. I had to CA them because they don't. Uh, they, they just don't hold very well. Old WPL junk. Anyways, let's crawl it. It's got the 370 motor and transmission upgrade. It's still not very modular. Mo it doesn't still modulate very well, but, you know, it's not terrible. It doesn't really have quite enough torque to break free on stuff when you want it to, but it's, uh, you know, on these beams, on these rocks, like, these are pretty big rocks. Even my SCX6 sometimes gets a little bit hung up in them. I was, I was impressed how it went through them. Of course, I won't be as good with one hand as I am with two, but you won't know the difference. Certainly has that noisy motor. Need to get a better ESC on it. I was actually pretty impressed with how it was doing with these Enjora tires. Really, I mean, it really does want to just go. Whew, sorry about that. And I mean, for how low the center transmission hangs on this thing. Oh, three wheel motion. Show you some of that. Oh, yeah. all the beans it just barely was able to pull up out of that so you see it doesn't have a ton of torque certainly does not have axle or gear ripping stripping power it would probably need to go to 3s or a bigger motor i was thinking about buying a 370 with like a you know 70t 70 turn something slower get it geared a little lower you don't need the speed for a car like this I'll show you the top speed in a bit. It's not fast by any stretch. This is probably a 55T or a 35T. Probably 55T. 370. If you punch it, it'll go a little. I'm actually impressed. I mean, it has very poor articulation not poor just not a lot you know i guess if you look at it though on a scale basis i mean it is very scale looking and it does have the, the articulation of a more scale off-road truck so i'm used to doing more like the crazy monster truck build with insane articulation gigantic tires compared to the body scale i like that sort of stuff but I bought an FCX18, the K10. That's coming in a couple of days, a week or so. And so I thought I would. I bought some 70 millimeter tires and they came today. And I was like, oh, you know what? I wonder if these fit on the old C64. Sure enough, went downstairs, took a look. Boom. I can't believe how well this is going. really good you guys it's all the tire i'm telling you because when i had the old c64 hard tires you remember the hard tires yeah those things sucked this thing wouldn't crawl anywhere it's all all about the tire I'm so much more impressed with it right now
it's actually worth playing with. It looks cooler too, of course. Never making this. I don't know what I'm doing crawling up to this. This is not stuck here. Just no torque to pull out of that. Here's the situation. You can see why I can't come out of that. I guess I can understand. Alright, did a reposition. This is, uh, you know, gotta be like the first time I've ever actually seriously driven this truck. It doesn't take a genius to figure out what junk it is when it first arrives. Doesn't want to come out of here, does it? Oh, yeah! Nice. Sorry for my excitement. I'm impressed I was able to pull up on out of there. Random shoe in the footage there. Sorry. Give you an idea how small this little guy is. Watching the camera now, watching where I'm driving. A lot of these shots, I have to get it all the way to like 100% throttle right before it break free. So that says I need more low end torque, Daddy. Went up to a little bit of an ant, more of an incline here. Update on the TRX4 Super Size XL. Upper four links are on delay because I haven't gotten the three millimeter heim joints from Ally yet. And now they're saying delayed, and I don't know when they're coming. I'm also waiting for an axle shaft, front axle shaft. So it'll be a few before anything happens there. I may just try aluminum junky links from Amazon. See how long we can put up with those for. They are just the upper links and not the lower links, so. They won't really be coming in contact with rocks. I've got steel four, M4 lower links and steel rod. Gonna have to custom modify the TRX4 skid plate because it's just not long enough or big enough for what I'm trying to do here. I'm not sure how I'm getting out of this. Yeah, maybe I'm right up and over here. Nice, look at this thing go. Oh, uber impressed. These are this is like serious terrain for 118. Zoom out a touch for you. Tough spot to exit out of here. Probably should have tried to snake right through there. So I'm gonna try to head up through there. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go over that little gap there. Try to get it 
right in that V. These two. Probably the servo is holding up as well as it is. I don't think it's very good. It is a chassis mounted. It's kind of cool the way they set it up. Half the reason I think I bought the truck way back because I wanted something cheap, cool. I can't believe I'm making this with a chassis mounted servo. You know, eight to ten years ago, that wasn't so common amongst radio control trucks crawlers they were always on the axle that was easy and performed best for comp and scale got all the rage look at this thing i'm beyond impressed you guys no portals either and it's just killing it i think it helps to have all that metal weight down on the chassis and the axle because this Hard body's pretty pretty heavy. I got all this stuff on the bed. Batteries right underneath the silver toolbox there. So it's not like it's in some ideal location. I'm trying to modulate as smooth as I can. That's all the beans pegged. Ooh, you heard it was hung up, it was stuck. Yeah! It don't do wheel speed much, but I still, it's still going, you guys. Freaking awesome. Oh, that's a precarious little spot. Let's take a close up. Could be tricky getting out of here. Yeah, when in doubt, power out. A hill climb. It's not going to be much of a hill climber, I don't think. It needs more torque. Can it do it? Just made it worse. We approach. Yeah. Go, little buddy. Oh, I'm getting all fucked up here. That's my little stick issue. All right. Enjora, you guys nailed it with these tires, man. Sticky claws. How about you guys make a set of 3.840 series? Make them really big. I'm talking eight and a half inch tall. I will buy a set. I'll buy two sets. And those won't be cheap, I'm sure. That's stuck on the slider. Woo! Managing to get unstuck. Guys, I bet on the stock tires. Maybe I'd give an FCX 18 a little bit of a challenge. I don't know. I mean, that thing's got huge portals and two speed transmission. It should be way better, but from the videos I saw, maybe the tires didn't have it. Thing with all these 
Out of the box, ready to run. Yeah, we're at the top, kid. Not too many hands of gods there, let's be honest. I'm blown away. We were at the top. <laughs> Not all the backing up I'm doing. It's not doing me any favors, I don't think. Getting impatient. And that's what happens. Wonder how that motor's doing. I am just running out on a 2S lithium ion. Probably could do a little better with the lithium polymer. Ooh! That didn't sound good. And there it goes. Persistence takes the cake. Now that's dug down in. Will it finish today in one piece? So close. Yes! Yes! Let's go for the big hill climb. Not so sure if it sounds very good. Is that the sound of grass or the sound of gears? I'm not sure. Well, this is the hill climb I don't think we can handle. <laughs> we can barely climb it on grass. You see, it's not very powerful. Kind of heading for the only way in. I, I might think I might be able to sneak in. Got grass wrapped around the axles, maybe. Yeah, let's pause. Yeah, a little bit. Looks like this one is the culprit. It's pretty good and hung up in there. Hot but warm.
Oh, I think we're at low battery or overheat or something. Yeah, because I have no more motor. And it seemed to just be getting low, low, low there. Um, it can't be overheat. I mean, I can hold my hands on the motor. It's not that hot. It feels like it might be 120 degrees, 130. That's usually deceptive. There it is. I wonder if we just overamped. Interesting. And it's dead again. That's so weird. I wonder if I have a wiring issue. Okay, it works upside down. Huh. Well, that's WPL Bizarre. Side hilling? But it can't do that very well. We're gonna try to get up in there, you guys. Oh, it's gone over. Oh, I tried so hard. Now it's stuck down in that divot. I don't see how it could possibly transition up out of that. It needs a rock underneath its tire. You know? Even that's going to look like a deep hole. We had to give it a fighting chance. How about a little cheater code? Came from down there. Start up here. That's where it needs more beans for the hill climb. It could do this if it had the beans. Like it could do it without the readjust. Kabooey. Oh no. Toaster strudel once again. going on there. ESC overheating maybe? I think it must be a wiring issue because every time I turn upside down and fiddle with it, it seems to come right back. to be on its back. Like I said,
much of a hill climb. That's all the beans. Feel like maybe it had a little more beans when we started. Yeah, it don't even want to go up the hill anymore. You know what, guys? I bet it's just a shitty lithium ion. Oh well. Hope you enjoyed. Until the next one. Ciao.